Welcome everyone everywhere to worship with Homer United Methodist Church and Merry Christmas, my dear friends. Let's take a few moments to express our gratitude to the indigenous people who steward this place. Our church building here in Homer sits on the land of the Denina and Sugpiak peoples, and we are grateful for their faithful stewardship of this special place where we live, work, and worship. And we are grateful to this land itself, the waters and places plants and animals that sustain us. May our gratitude move us to respectful and healing relationships. This evening we will hear once again the story of that first Christmas and your heart will be lifted up with joyful music. So let's prepare our hearts and minds for worship. I'd like to invite the Beams family to come forward to light all the candles of the Advent wreath. On Christmas Eve, we light the Christ candle. This is a reminder to us that Jesus Christ is the light of the world. This year, we find light in the hope of a new day. We found light in the peace out of our hearts as we pray. And worship, we found light in the joy of one another, and we find light in the love that God has for each and every one for us. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the light of Christ who brightened even our toughest times. We thank you for the birth of the baby Jesus who grew to be our teacher and savior. As we light candles to brighten the dark winter's night, remind us to be your light in the world, illuminating the ways that you are with us always. Amen. Today we light the candle of hope, peace, joy, and love. And we light the can Christ candles.
Will you please bow with me? Gracious God, we live in such a weary world, weighed down by the pandemic, by divisiveness, by racism, by isolation. We pray for peace on this troubled earth. As lights shine around us this Christmas season, ignite in us a light within our hearts. As we turn on the lights of our trees and in our homes, may we express the hope for the light of Christ to shine throughout the world. May we see Christ in our forgiveness toward others. May we see Christ in our work of justice and equity for all. May the light of Christ shine through the love we show each person. Let there be light in our towns, in our families, and in our souls. God, thank you for giving us the light of hope, peace, joy, and love. Amen. This first reading is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 2, and verse 6 and 7. It is titled, The Prophet Announces the Birth of a King to a People in Darkness. This is a familiar reading. These words are sung in Handel's Hallelujah Chorus. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The 
king is coming and will usher in a reign of justice for the poor and peace for all of God's creation. A reading from the book of Isaiah. A shoot shall come out of the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes sees or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the, la- the calf and the lion and the fatling together, and a little sh- child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze, their young shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nur- nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp, and the weaning child shall put its, its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain, for the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Gabriel announces to the Virgin Mary that she will give birth to God's promised son, whose kingdom shall never end. A reading from the book of Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. 
But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The prophet Mary sings out in joyful consent her vision of the world to come. A reading from the book of Luke. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely, from now on, all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever.
Jesus, the promised Messiah, is born and named Emmanuel, which means God is with us. A reading from the book of Matthew. Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from his sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. Against a backdrop of emperors and taxes, Jesus is born. This is a reading from the book of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. 
he went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in the bands of cloth and laid him in a manger. There was no room for them in the inn. Angels appear to shepherds, announcing to them good news for all the world. A reading from the book of Luke. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. For see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. The shepherds go to see the Savior of the world, lying in a manger, a reading from the book of Luke. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, 
Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. In a lowly little manger, in a tiny little town, lay a lowly baby smiling long ago. On that first glad Christmas morn, when the holy child was born, and the angels sang their carols soft and low. For the coming of the Christ child, for the coming of the Christ child, for the coming of the Christ child, brought peace and joy to all the world. Wise men came with costly presents to the city by the hill. To the wondrous star of beauty, fair and bright. Shepherds knelt in humble fear, with the lowing cattle near. And the angels sang their carols, soft and low. For the coming of the Christ child, for the coming of the Christ child, for the coming of the Christ child brought peace and joy to all the world. Paying electric bills helping with emergency shelter and rental assistance, buying winter tires so people can get to a place with better support systems. These are just a few of the ways that we have been able to provide assistance to our community and people in need through our Benevolence Fund. We believe in loving our neighbors in real, tangible ways. And so 100% of tonight's offering will be dedicated to our neighbors in need in our community through our Benevolence Fund. I invite you to visit our website, which is listed down below on the screen, for our donation button so that you can make a donation or send a check to the street address that you see on the screen. Your gifts make real differences in the lives of members of our community. As we offer ourselves and our gifts to God, let us bow together. Loving God, we praise you for the greatest gift of all, your Son, Jesus Christ. We find deep and abiding joy in him. As we dedicate our offerings, we also dedicate ourselves to your service. Help us to live faithfully, to grow in wisdom, and to reach out to all your people. In the name of that newborn babe, we pray. 
Amen. Wise men from the east search out the newborn king, a reading from the book of Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born the king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard of this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. The Magi follow a star to find the child Jesus, the King of the Jews. A reading from the book of Matthew. When the Magi had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh.
The great mystery of the incarnation is revealed to us. A reading from the book of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people didn't accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelled among us. And we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, for hear the angel voices, for night divine. Christ was born, O oh, night divine, O oh, night, O oh, night divine. By the light of faith serenely beaming with glowing hearts, by his cradle we stand. So led by light of a star sweetly gleaming, here came the wise men from the Orient land. The King of Kings lay thus in lowly manger in all our trials, born to be our friend. He knows our need. To our weakness is no stranger. Behold, your king before him lowly bend. Behold your king, your king before him bend.
Truly he taught us to love one another. His law is love and his gospel is peace. Chain shall he break for the slave is our brother and in his name all oppression shall cease. Sweet hymns of joy in grateful chorus raise we. Let all within us praise his holy name. Christ is the Lord. Then ever, ever praise we his power and glory evermore proclaim his power and glory evermore proclaim. As we prepare to hear Silent Night, if you're worshiping from home, I invite you to turn off the lights if you can, so that you can sit in the glow of the tree and prepare to light a candle with us. And if you are here in person, please have your candle out. In just a moment, I will come around and light the first candle in each row. And you are invited to pass that light of Christ to those who are seated next to you. Please don't forget that you tilt the unlighted candle into the lighted candle to keep the wax off your hands. <laughs> please have your candles out and I'll be around. Thank you. 
May the Prince of Peace grant you hope, peace, joy, and love. May the light of the world illuminate your heart and mind. May Emmanuel walk beside you. And may the blessing of Christmas be with you today and every day. Amen. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.